Hi, welcome to this video on the equation of a straight line. Now suppose we're asked to draw this graph, the graph of y equals 2x plus 1. What I'll do is just draw up a table. So let's just suppose then we had a table of values for x and y. We'd need a set of values that we're going to a set of values of x that we're going to put into this graph. Let's say we draw it from minus three up to two. So let's take the integers minus three, minus two, minus one, naught, one, and two. So when I put these values through the graph, let's say we take x is minus three, we have two times minus three plus one is minus five. Similarly, minus 2 in, 2 times minus 2 is minus 4, add 1 is minus 3. And if we work out the other values, I'll leave it up to you, you should find that you get minus 1, 1, 3, and 5. So, if we start to plot these coordinates, then we've got minus 3, minus 5. Well, that's not on the graph, but it would be down here somewhere. Minus 2, minus 3, minus 2, minus 3 would be that point there. Minus 1, minus 1, naught 1, that point there. 1, 3, 1, 3, and then we've got 2, 5. 2, 5 is off the graph. So if we were to join these up, what we actually get is that straight line. OK, let's just try another one. Let's try this one. Draw the graph of y equals minus x minus 3. So again, we need to set up a table okay, of values of x and y. And this time, we'll draw it between minus 4 and x equals 1. So we'll have the integers minus 4, minus 3, minus 2, minus 1, 0, and 1. So if we put minus 4 into the equation, we've got minus, minus 4, which is 4, minus 3, which is 1. Put minus 3 in, and we've got minus, minus 3, which is 3, take away 3 is 0. Put minus 2 in, minus, minus 2 is 2, 2 minus 3 is minus 1. And if you fill the other values in, you'll find that this one is minus 2, this one's minus 3, and this one is minus 4. OK, so let's just mark on the coordinates. Minus 4, 1. Minus 4, 1. That's that point there. Minus 3, 0. Minus 3, 0. Minus 2, minus 1. That one. Minus 1, minus 2. That one. And 0, minus 3. So you can see we're getting a straight line now. 1, minus 4. That point there. So if we join these points up, we've got that line there. Now, if we look carefully at these graphs, let's go back to this one up here. What you'll notice, I hope, is as we go one unit across here from minus 3 to minus 2, minus 2 to minus 1, as we go one unit across, Notice what happens to the y values. From minus 5 to minus 3 goes up by 2 units, plus 2. Minus 3 to minus 1, if you add 2 to minus 3, you get minus 1. Add 2 to minus 1, you get 1. Okay. Add 2 to 1, you get 3, and so on. Add 2 to 3, you get 5. So as we go one unit across, we seem to gain two units in the y value. Let's look at the graph. Going one unit across, you can see we gain two units in a y value. Go one unit across, two units up. One across, two units up, and so on. This is called the gradient. Okay, For every one, we rise two units, the gradient. And that seems to be that number there, in front of the x. And let's have a look at this plus 1. You'll notice that 
when you put x equals naught through the equation, two noughts are naught, add one, y turns out to be one. And we've got it here, when x is naught, y is one. And where do you find that point? You find it here, okay, on the y-axis. We call this the y-intercept. Let's have a look at the blue graph now. As we step one unit across in the x values, okay, what happens to the y values? Well, from 1 to 0 is a drop of 1 unit. In other words, minus 1. Going from 0 to minus 1 is a drop in, of 1 unit. So that's minus 1. And so on. It's always minus 1 for this particular graph. And when we look at the blue graph, you'll see that for every 1 unit in the x direction, the y value decreases by 1. 1 across, 1 down, 1 across, 1 down, and so on, all the way down. Some of you might look at it like this, that we decrease in y by one value for every one we go across. Decrease of one y value for one across, and so on. All right. So you can see that the gradient is minus one. And that's what we've got in front of the x again, minus 1x. And when we look at this number on the end here, you'll see that this is the y value when x is 0. Put x is 0 in, you get y equals minus 3. This point here, 0 minus 3. Where do you find that point? 0 minus 3 on the y-axis, the y-intercept. So what this seems to suggest then is that the form of any line, any line has the form y equals mx plus c, where m, the number in front of x, is the gradient, and c is the y-intercept. So just to recap, the gradient for y equals 2x plus 1 is the m value, which would have been 2. And the c value, where it crosses the y-axis, would have been plus 1. And for the blue graph, m was minus 1. And the c value was minus 3. We were adding negative 3. So c is minus 3, corresponding to this point on the y-axis. So, this is the form then of any straight line, and using this form can be very useful in determining the gradient and the y-intercept. That brings us now to the end of this tutorial on recognizing that y equals mx plus c is the form of a straight line, and in my next tutorial, what I'd like to show you is how we can use this equation.